This game is called More. I know nothing about it, but we're going to check it out. It's supposed to be a short horror game. Checking things out. We'll see what happens. Mom says the accident happened somewhere down by the dock. I really don't remember. The earliest fragment of my childhood I can recall is of crashing through the surface. I went through all of the usual sensations of drowning. It's pretty numbing, dark stream, right off the bat. Of your muscles burning with adrenaline. The rhythmic ache of your lungs begging for air and the slow building panic of desperately reaching for the world above only to feel as if something relentlessly that's how I would be too like this if I was talking about my own drowning as everything began to darken I heard this strange otherworldly sound coming from below more beautiful than anything I'd ever heard it sounded just like a choir of angel song I remember feeling strangely calm then. The thing pulling me down was just the angels wanting to drag me away to heaven so I could sing with them too. I'm not ready to die yet. I just hadn't expected it to hurt so much when I finally took a breath. That would be my response. I'm not ready to die yet. Even Sorry. Even after leaving the hospital, whenever I closed my eyes to sleep, I could still feel those angels pulling at me. Sometimes I could still hear them sing. Oh, cool! You're just gonna leave? Truth to be told. Peace, dude. I'm not sure. Adios, amigos. Go. The D the angels aren't really angels. Oh no. Oh, I have a lighter. Perfect. F. Excellent. Can I run? I cannot run, but I can crouch. So this game looks pretty good so far. It's kind of dark. A little laggy. Um, it might just be my settings that I have. But I really like how this game looks. Overall, ooh, we have power on this island. Yet I'm holding a lighter. That doesn't make much sense. Just wanted to do a little bit of exploring first. Check out my surroundings. I got a bad feeling once I go into that house. Something's going to go awfully wrong real fast. And not in my favor. It's going down for real. I don't even know what language it is. Are there people in that house? <laughs> they sound like they're having a good time. Jeez. Just like explore everything. You don't need any of this stuff in your house. Does anybody know what language that is? If you know what language that is, put it in the comments below. Oh, mom. She must have locked the door out of habit. Again. And so I need to find a key or something to break that lock with. They're jumping and jiving hard. They're having a good old time in there. Is there a key anywhere or a back door that I missed in my exploring? 
This is a very unsafe house. It's only got one point of entry. Great for keeping people out. Not so much for escaping in a bad situation, like a fire or something. Okay, so maybe there's a key in that shed. Or something to break that lock with. Uh, no, I'm a big dumb. Ooh. Nope. I can't remember yeah, the last time mom left me alone here. Keeping that light on. After earlier today, I understand if she needs some space. Oh yeah. I don't think we've ever fought like that before. Oh, we got in a fight. Okay, well you can go off. It's, you're bothering me. Yeah. Nope. Okay, I, well, I was just trying to feed the fire, keep everybody warm. Yeah, nice single story house. Nothing really antiquated or out of date here. I like how you have to be in the right direction too. Give me that cake. I don't want your cake, Mom! Gosh. That was a plastic egg. This silence is making me insane. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Where's my sketchbook? Oh, Why can't I remember where I put things? I need a sketchbook, huh? Okay. So, let's go find a sketchbook and see what's up. Oof. It's a big painting. That door doesn't go anywhere. I'm just gonna leave you off. Oh, you're kind of creepy looking from a different angle. Aha! Laundry room. Nothing special in here. It's my room. My memory has been a bit weird. Ever Got the since sketchbook. The incident. Ever since the John uh, seems to be incident. about all I can do to really piece things together. It's Sipa Mone Nemorosa and an angel. Okay. So I got my sketchbook. Nothing else really too special so far. No big spooks or nothing. That's the two major going on here. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a dark house. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh, a spirit board. Where'd that Am come I from? Really getting that absent-minded, or was it actually here before? No, no, it wasn't it there before. There's supposed to be some kind of indicator to use for the letters, a uh, planchette, planchette, or something. I guess I could use a glass instead. Hopefully, the demons won't mind. Need to find a glass to play with. Okay. So, it's kind of like... Uh, just telling me... Like, random things. To, uh, use or whatever. Like, the sketchbook is kind of like my go-to. I can't believe I'm actually trying to. A and D. Is someone there? Yes. Who are you? What are you? Who we'll go with who are, are you? Do you have a name? M. I. K. A. E. L. Michael. Hello, Michael. Michael. Can't say I recognize the name. Uh, we'll go with why, why are you here? here? 
in this house. T R A P E D. Trapped. Trapped. Wow. We got that much in common. I feel you, spirit. I feel you. Why are you trapped? So, why are you trapped? That's what I would ask you, ghost. Does your mom force you to spend every summer here, too? P-O-R-T-R-A-I-T. -T. Portrait. Portrait? What do you mean, portrait? We need to find a specific portrait. A clue! Very vague and strangely specific at the same time. Good Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Let's go find that portrait. Nothing wrong here. Nothing to see here, folks. As a kid, I always dreamed of inheriting mom's beauty. She is very beautiful. Unfortunately, it never seemed to happen. She can't have been much older than I am now in this portrait. A picture of mom, but why? I should go back to the board. Okay. I didn't actually know if that was the right portrait or not. I just clicked on it. That portrait. Are you trapped in it? Like some sort of Tormented artist? No. <clears throat> well, I guess that would have been a bit cliche. Uh, where are um, you trapped? Where are you? I'd like to help. I'm a helpful person. I'd like to help you if I can, but you have to work with me. At least a little. D A R K N E S S Darkness. Darkness? That doesn't really tell me much. This island feels like it's made up of nothing but dark Truth. corners and patches of shadows. What trapped so, you? So what trapped you? a good question. A N G E L M A K E R Angel Angel Maker. maker. What is that? It doesn't exactly have a nice ring to it. Yeah, the it's Angel Maker exactly doesn't sound very good at all. It. Is that what you are? An, an angel maker. No. B L U E V A S E. Blue, Blue vase. Vase. I'm guessing this is something else you want me to see. And I have a slight feeling it will leave me just, just as, as clueless. clueless. A riddle. So you want to play? Okay then. Let's what, play. What does the riddle say? Uh, with pleasant smell and hue of green, it just wants to keep the people clean. Where's that phone? That is obnoxious. Speaking well, my name is Lynn. Hello? Lynn? It's just me. I'm ready to turn on to Hilda's home now. Foul winds be damned. And I merely wanted to check in on you to hear that everything is well. Oh, Mom. Yes, everything is just fine. I know I left a bit abruptly. I prepared some food for you before I went. It's in the fridge. And I want you to know that you're very welcome to it. Oh, thank you. So you're not angry anymore? Of course not, dear. You're almost a grown woman. And it's only natural that you want to make your own decisions. Dramatic and impulsive as they may be. I keep looking around making sure I, I was really nothing's going to like creep up on me. You all just finished making supper for us. And it would be terribly rude of me to keep her waiting at the table. 
Wait, before you go, have you ever noticed anything strange happening here on the island? What do you mean? Has something happened? No, no, I, I just thought maybe, maybe I saw something. Lynn, listen to me. It's not my intention to scare you without reason. But you know how many folk tales there are about spirits and the likes lurking at the edge of water. Things that could do the best to trick you, even befriend you. And the beings in those tales are rarely benevolent. Ooh. Mom. Angry spirits. This is part of the reason why you never wanted me to be alone here before. But why do we keep coming back if... Mom? Oh, that's Mom? not good. You want laundry soap ghost? Is that what you're asking for? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on now. There's a picture on the soap, a washing machine, a map. I wonder where it leads. So what does that show anyway? Flowers, stars, front door. I need the bag. I need to find a bag. I'm so dumb. I spent forever trying to figure that out. Open for Michael. What is this? These, these things, things aren't, aren't right. right. And, and all, all these, these drawings. drawings. What, what are, are they, they supposed, supposed to? to? Oh no. Alright, well, now we found out where Michael likes to hide. Let's go see what the Ouija board says. Get out of here. That place in in my room. Was it yours? Were those toys yours? H I D I N G. You were hiding in there. From that thing. The uh the angel maker. I suppose that means it eventually found you. Did you live here? You used to live here. In this house. I mean, before. No. No. Maybe that's just a strange maybe question to ask someone, or something things. like you. Or maybe that's just a strange question to ask someone. <clears throat> they do say that the longer you're a spirit, the more you lose track of your humanity what are you really a, a ghost? ghost a demon a child demon. a demon child a ghost child we don't know a n g e l angel an angel hiding in my room no idea what to make of that Interesting. You don't say. An angel hiding in my room. Please, what do you just want tell me? me? What is it that you want with me? Why are you showing me these things? Why are you here? G A F T. A gift. gift. You want to give it's me? It's not my birthday. A gift. Uh, we'll go Why with the more secure question. Gift? You don't owe me anything. S T A R F A L Starfall. Starfall. How is that a gift that can be given? Sounds like a transformer name. Suppose I would 
actually want this gift of yours? Where would I find it? F O R B I D E N R O O M a forbidden room. That's the one that's locked. The forbidden room. Do you mean mom's room? Why why do you want me to go in there? And now he says goodbye. Oh. S E C R E T secret. A secret. No, no, I I wouldn't do that. I promised her not to. She would be furious if she knew I even thought about it. Three. Three, three what? Two. Two. Oh no! Why are you counting down? What's going on? No, 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 no. Just, just wait. Ooh. The ghost told me to go to mom's room. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Nelly. That's a bad thing, Category. Can I bring a chair? Can I attack it with a chair? See you no. down here. This isn't right. I promised her. <laughs> well, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Go away. Oh my gosh! No! Oh, oh. What? What? Ghost told me to go to mom's room. A bunch of stars magically appeared on the ceiling. Where did they come from? Yes, that's exactly what I would be saying. Ooh. Aha. Oh, that was kind of dumb. I'd have never found that. All right. Oh, great. Found a key. Where does it go? It goes to mom's room. What's going on? Mom? Are you okay? Oh, mom's room in a mess. What is going on? I need answers. I will go back to the board. Okay. Time to go back to the board then. Maybe my mom's the demon. That's creepy. Shut up. What do you want with my mother? E N D. End. You want her to end. You want her to die? To die. What made you like this? Why are you haunting this place? A N. G E R Anger. Anger. Why are you so angry? What happened to you? O T H E R S I D E Other side. You're not making any sense. What do you mean by other side? Other side of what? D E A T H Death I you should have realized I I know you're not supposed to ask this, but How do you know you're not supposed to ask know? this though? I didn't know you're not supposed to ask How this. How did you die? 
I, I will show will you. Will show you. You were drowned. I don't know if that was worth it. Oh. You just want me to go in here? Maybe I have to read the newspaper with this eye thing. It's telling me to tune it to 103.2 so I can hear the ghost talk. That makes sense. I just saying, keep saying under the dock. Get out way. Ah. These are all addressed to mom. You truly are a good person. When I heard of your own loss, I felt like weeping because I knew you would understand the pain I felt when I gave up my child. I wish I had your strength. Perhaps then I would have had the perseverance to endure the looks and the gossip. I pray little Michael will bring you the happiness I shall never forget, and that you will bring him the good, warm home I never could. Writing to you again, hear how he is doing, perhaps see him again one day, merely hope the money you received will prove to be enough. Uh, to meet him, if only for a day, I understand he must be so busy with it's a modest sum, I know, but all I, it's also all I have the means to give. Never received your reply, assured me, lost. Post office, letters have been delivered, why? Not asking for much. Cruel, all I want, about money, contact the authorities. Begging, cannot sleep, keep thinking about it. Silence seems to be your answer, curse you, heartless. I understand the law is firmly on your side regarding this, but you made promises to write me, to let me call from time to time, perhaps even to visit. Promises you have all broken. Is it really too much to ask? Only for a day, please. Just let me see my Lynn again. Oh, wow. Michael, did we... Did we know each other before you died? Yep. Yes. Then we must have lived here at the same time. So either my mom, Lynn's mom, sitting. adopted Michael I, or Lynn. I can't remember. This place was it some sort of orphanage? Yes. So we were both huh. abandoned before we came here. 
There were so many letters. Were there more children than just the two of us? So mom adopted us herself. But what happened? That's interesting. C E L A R Seller. So I don't really know how I got into the cellar, but we're in. I had to look up the code because I don't understand that code, that puzzle on the thing whatsoever. Baby, you are creepy and hideous. How could I? You got all of you. Oops. show anything? The all-knowing eye? Oh, okay, so all that work just to see a memory. Oh! Was not at all how I wanted to end that game or that game to end rather I didn't have a choice in it but that's messed up yo apparently she ran an orphanage and Lynn was the last one and got curious and that was the end of that if you guys have any other way shape or form that that could have played out let me know down in the comments below if you played this game if you'd like to play this game just let me know and let's talk about it this is a really well made game some of the puzzle solving mechanics weren't really the best um i had to look up the code to get into the cellar um some of the game mechanics themselves didn't work properly like opening the doors and whatnot they could have been adjusted a little bit better and just a few other minor details but all in all this is a really well put together game it wasn't overly scary it was more emotional there was a couple of jump scares but not normally my type of scary game, but still had a good ambiance. So, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye guys.